you know, I met my husband and I fell in love with him. I mean, and I'm just gonna tell you, I love, love, love my husband. I'm not embarrassed to tell you. I love that man, right? And I only tell you that because the shit I'm about to say. <laughs> yes! Mm, just because you love someone doesn't mean you don't see him exactly who they are. Because on paper, if you set us up, we're a perfect match. I told you, I'm 100% Sicilian. He's first generation Italian boy from Brooklyn, right? We, we're, like, we should be perfect, but we're not, because you wanna know why? He is the nicest guy on the planet. He has the hope of a 14-year-old girl. <laughs> right? He believes everything is possible. And it is my job as a good wife to crush that spirit. <laughs> You are never gonna be a 47-year-old American Idol contestant. Get that shit right out of your head. Ridiculous. On paper, we're a perfect match. Real life, not so much. Didn't matter when we were dating that he's messy and I'm clean. Crazy clean, admittedly. I have a problem, I'm OCD. I watch hoarders and clean during commercials. <laughs> I'm afraid a dead goat's gonna fall through the television <laughs> under 22 years worth of newspapers and I will just burn the house down. That's what I will do. <laughs> I hate, that's a very Italian thing to be clean. My grandmother was crazy clean. Wake up in the middle of the night to go to the bathroom, come back, your bed would be made. <laughs> She'd be at you, you messy. You and the cockeye, so messy. Grazie, so messy. 2.30 in the morning, woman. I know, you hungry? <laughs> yeah, I could eat, I could eat, whatever. <laughs> we're just different in real life. It didn't matter when we were dating. It didn't matter that I have a master's degree and he has a GED. Not just a GED, he's got two because he sent away for an extra copy. Because <laughs> it's a double major. now because I, I, we have our kid. Our son is four years old, right? I want to send him to preschool. My husband goes, what do you want to do that for? <laughs> for that, right there. How about that? <laughs> <laughs> Exhibit A, huh? I got to put a little purple barrette up here? What do you want? <laughs> How am I going to stake my case? It's insane. We're, you know, and it, if you find the funny, trust me and believe me that it will find you. Because when I go to sign my four-year-old for preschool, I happen to find the one preschool in our area that not only do you have to fill out an application, you have to write an essay. To get a child into preschool, an essay. And I'm gonna tell you something. If my essay can't get my son into that preschool, I will get an essay. I will get a Mexican gang member. <laughs> to terrorize that school board. This four-year-old is getting into that school. I took it way too seriously. I was a student for too long. I wanted to write this beautiful essay. I got so nervous, the deadline was coming up. My husband goes, I'll write it. <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> not only will he not get in, we'll lose custody. <laughs> it's not happening. 